Hello everyone, welcome to Play Cameras Bites. I'm Stephen Yao, otherwise known as Yao's in the forums. Uh, this is a new format where we want to try to help show everyone the work that is in progress or in early stages with Play Canvas. And um, the whole thing is a bit of a test really, to see how well this type of content actually engages with everyone. And if it goes well, we're going to do more of these. If it doesn't, um, we won't. Uh, so today I am joined by Jasper, our UX designer. Uh, say hi. And he will be showing us some of the work he's done to the dashboard and editor views. So take it away, Jasper. Yep. So we are currently working on a refresh on our uh, project dashboard and also our project creation flow. Specifically, we are working on a new project dialog where we showcase um, a catalog of our starter kits. So you can get started and creating in no time. So the entire flow goes like, first of all, you jump onto the project dialog pop up and you are by default selecting the blank uh, project state where it is a blank slate, basically a blank canvas. You can create whatever you want with, or you can select one of our project starter kit. For example, in this case, we're using first person shooter as a starter kit. And now if you're happy with the description, the default description or the name, you can click on create and you'll be in your game in no time. Um, you can quickly use our start template to create a, your first person movement uh, type of game. Yep, this is the entire project creation flow. Cool. Uh, what was the um, what was the reason for changing the flow in the first place? Because I think you did some user research around uh, the dashboard, didn't you? Uh, yeah. So I think right now um, uh, the biggest problem with our creation flow is first of all our branding. It's uh, not uh, on brand with our editor, so it feels really separated. And uh, second of all, we don't have enough of a ca catalog of starter template where we do have a curation of a lot of useful template in our tutorial mm -hmm. section, but we are not, we haven't been exposing them enough. That's why we want right. to bring them more, surface them up to the users so they can, they can use our tutorial content to quickly start creating their own game. Oh, I see. So um, at the moment we've got three starter kits and if we add more, it kind of just balloons down. So this is kind of more expandable, flexible ones if we add more in the future. Um, yeah, definitely. You, you you should be able to expect uh, more starter kit coming from our team. Awesome. Yeah, I think that's on my list too. We've got quite a few ideas going around. Um, if we go back to the dashboard again, I noticed there was a play button on top of the projects icons. Yep. Uh, so what? Did, uh, uh... That's, yeah, that's in the hover state. Once you hover over on a uh, thumbnail, then you have a play button where you can go into the game to preview what this template is going to be like. Um, so uh, if you're happy with the game, then you can select the template and create your game based off the starter kit. Sounds great. Uh, thanks for showing us that. Um, and I remember you saying you also did some more testing around uh, onboarding. So again, first time users onboarded and uh, that led to some design changes with the editor view, if I remember correctly. Uh, editor view, yes, that I did. Do we want to switch over right now to show some? Uh, unless you got more stuff on this. Uh, I've have you got any more stuff on the project dashboard? Uh, currently, um, I think what we did very quickly uh, is that we want to expose the at new project. Ah, that was it, yeah. Expose the user at all time. So it uh, doesn't matter which tab user is currently on, they can always, it's very easily to start creating a new uh, project or import their existing project. Uh, so ah. that's one of the um, small change, but I believe it's going to create a, a big impact. Right. Okay. Cool. Cool. Um, so moving on, uh, editor view, because I was actually quite excited by this because uh, we haven't changed the editor view for like so long. <laughs> yep. Uh, let me show this tab instead. Uh, okay. Is everyone seeing this screen? Yep. 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 Uh, so yeah, bring on to the editor view. What we mainly did is actually to give it a a little refresh on our specifically our viewport settings where we exposed a lot of the um, functionalities initially from the side panel, which is not exposed, uh, it's not very visible to users, bring them into the viewport, uh, which are namely the transform settings, snap, focus, uh, auto rebake, and also you know camera settings and undo redo to expose them to the viewport where the user um, it's always working in this viewport. So these functionalities makes more sense to bring them closer to where the user is currently uh, working on. Uh, what uh, another change that we did is we bring um, the scene panel uh, with a, a bit more exposure, a bit more visibility so that user can easily go into their scene management and add a new scene 
or they can easily go into their version control uh, and add a new branch. Um, and with the naming ex exposed, they can easily tell at all time which scene they're on and which branch they're currently on. Um, another change that we did is actually we exposed, um, we're trying to, working on, uh, to expose, for example, um, we are exploring uh, the possibility where we can launch um, by scene or we can, uh, another feature that we're trying to release is user can check the use release candidate checkbox so mm -hmm. they can um, launch their game with our release candidate engine version uh, to quickly test out the most up-to-date engine version. Yeah, yeah let's, let's go back to the scene current because I uh, remember asking you about this before that, that we had quite a few of our users wanting who are working on like, multi-scene projects and but they always want to launch from a specific scene and I think that's what this is where it's come from really so um, you basically have this drop down option which allows you to select the scene that you launch from uh, all the time yeah. and that's a user setting isn't it that's going to be a user setting not a project wide setting uh, yeah that is a user setting so the idea is uh, the viewport settings should always um, uh, is we, we try to make it the way that it's uh, specific to the local user mm. so uh, every settings made here does not affect people who are uh, who you're collaborating with uh, in the same scene um, so basically if you launch with the release candidate uh, that doesn't mean uh, your uh, co-worker your teammate is going to be launching through the release candidate gotcha. it's specific to you it's a uh, local setting yeah yeah and also there's like the reason why uh, we're adding the use, use release candidate into the play button is to make it more visible so a lot of our recent communication around the like, engine minor releases um, has been now through our newsletters, which has our biggest reach. And we want more people to be more aware uh, of when our releases are for the engine, uh, when we start move it to the editor. And also give people time uh, between us launching the release calendar and moving that to the current stable version. Uh, so allow uh, our users to uh, test their app ahead of time so they're not, um, what's the word? They're not, um, it almost gives like, give them, I wouldn't say fair, oh. What we say? What we say? So we give them more. I'm trying to think of the right word here. Um, uh, um, more, more, more runway to, to test. More, like more notice. More notice, like uh, to be prepared for the upcoming yep. engine changes, um, especially if they're including features or potentially sort of refactors. Uh, and making it more visible in the launch window would help. Hopefully, help that uh, by making it more visible that you can test with the release and and only it's only you that's affected when you select that. Yeah, I think that's that's one of the feedback that we got and we are currently working on to uh, explain better through our UI that this setting only affects you and you only, not the entire team. Yeah. Sounds great. Um, and do we want to talk about these, like the uh, inspector on the right, so the quick access stuff? Yep. So another refresh that we did is um, right now, if you look at plugins right now, if there is no entity selected on the screen, uh, we actually show an empty um, inspector. Um, panel, which we think it's a waste of space, first of all, and then we can use that space to more effectively um, provide utility to our users. So that's why we decided to give a quick access panel where the user can quickly get into um, a project, uh, the, the settings, the documentation. Um, they can quickly check out the controls and also use our how to uh, um, uh, section. Also, they can quickly provide feedback or go into our GitHub. Um, so basically give them a lot more quick access to portal into uh, the right places that they want. So another change that we made is if I go into settings, as you can see, we expose these functionality, which has been there for a long time, but not a lot of users actually uh, notice it. So right now we expose it a bit better with uh, a bit of uh, annotation with words that we're going to show that you can quickly go back to the previous panel that you selected. If let's say we first go into the settings, now we select our entity on the screen. Um, and then these would dynamically change to that, go back to the previous one, which was the settings that we were pre previously on. And then we can go back another layer, which is the um, quick access, which we came from. So we are trying to uh, work on the design to expose it a bit better. Uh, so if you have any feedback, welcome. Uh, this is not finalized. Yeah. Yeah, I think that's all the point to so also note that a lot of designs that we've shown here today aren't completely 100% finalized. There's still a little bit of extra, uh, there's still probably plenty of changes coming up based on user feedback, yeah. what we get from this video. Uh, so if you've seen this from the forums or Twitter, et cetera, please do let us, let us know what you think about these new designs because um, this would be the best place or the best timing to change them uh, before we actually implement them. Um, and 
also depends like, as we go through them. So like, we need to figure out uh, what is going to be best going forward. So maybe we put it in and we find that's not the right call. Then we're going to change it before it's released out to the uh, general public. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Uh, I think that's really about it at the moment, isn't it? Uh, uh, that's pretty much it. Yeah. Cool. Uh, so, like I said, uh, this is a almost a test run of Play Canvas Bytes. It's like this kind of format to see if you, the community, are uh, like interested in this type of format and if you find it more engaging or find it's better than what we normally send out um, in terms of material about upcoming changes, please do let us know. Again, uh, if you're looking for the forums, Twitter or newsletter, do let us know uh, via the channels that you see this on. And I want to thank you about Jasper for his time. Uh, he's our guinea pig for this uh, test run. So say thank you. Yay. No and that's really about it. Uh, thank you very much for watching. We see everyone later. Bye. Bye.